Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 46 to 46 Haven't Touched Enough. 46 Haven't Touched Enough. Luo Chen wanted to see what new tricks these two people had come up with to deal with him. All right, I'll drive you there. Seeing that Luo Chen had fallen into his trap, Yi Bei was extremely pleased. After so long, it was finally Luo Chen's turn to be unlucky. Exclamation mark. After work, Yi Bei drove Luo Chen to a bar called Planet. This bar was relatively small. Lin Tian had investigated it beforehand. Luo Chen had never come here before. When Nightingale went over to strike up a conversation, Luo Chen would not be suspicious. After Yi Bei led Luo Chen into the bar, he passed through the crowd vibing under the neon lights and went straight to a booth he had booked in advance. Attendant, give me a bottle of everything. After the two of them sat down, Yi Bei ordered all the high quality wine. He had to make Luo Chen drunk today. All right, please wait a moment. Not long after the attendant left, she returned and placed eight bottles of wine on the table. Luo Chen sat at the side and quietly watched Yi Bei putting on his show. At the same time, he took out a golden needle and inserted it into one of his acupuncture points. This way, no matter how much he drank later, he would not be drunk. Boss, you must drink to your heart's content today and forget all the unhappy things. After the wine was served, Yi Bei filled a cup and handed it to Luo Chen. Luo Chen nodded. All right, you drink too. Let's drink together. No problem. Yi Bei threw caution to the wind, rolled up his sleeves, and drank cup after cup with Luo Chen. His alcohol tolerance had always been good. If not for the powder last time, he would not have made a fool of himself in public. By the third bottle, Luo Chen felt that it was about time. He pretended to be drunk and waved his hand. No, that's all for today. After saying that, he shook his head, looking like he would faint in the next second. Seeing that the time had come, Yi Bei smiled and said, Okay, boss. When I come back from the toilet, I'll take you home. After he left the booth, he immediately sent a message to Lin Tian to say that he could take action. At this moment, Lin Tian and a woman in a black leather jacket were standing in the corner of the bar. After seeing the message, Lin Tian said to the woman, Nightingale, we can move now. It's all up to you this time. Nightingale nodded. Don't worry. It's easy to deal with a drunk young master. With that, Nightingale ran towards Luo Chen. Yo, isn't this young master Luo? Nightingale feigned surprise as she walked to his side. Luo Chen looked up and instantly recognized Nightingale. As he was familiar with the plot, he wanted to meet the helpers of the protagonists. However, on the surface, Luo Chen was still acting very confused. Who are you? Nightingale went over and held Luo Chen's arm. I'm Chan Chan. Last time you said you wanted to go to my house to play. Luo Chen shook his head. I don't remember that. Young Master Luo, you're so bad. You can't even do what you promised me. You have to come home with me today no matter what. With that, Nightingale pulled Luo Chen up. Luo Chen did not resist and followed Nightingale out of the bar. He could already vaguely guess what Lin Tian and the others were playing at. Lin Tian sneered when he saw this scene. Luo Chen, today shall be the day your reputation gets ruined. After leaving the bar, Nightingale hailed a taxi and brought Luo Chen to a hotel. After entering the room, Luo Chen pretended to be drunk and laid motionless on the bed. That's it? I thought it'd be a challenge. Nightingale looked at Luo Chen on the bed with disdain. According to the original plan, she needed to tear her clothes and use Luo Chen's hand to touch the important parts. Nightingale would then rush out of the room and shout that he had molested her. At this moment, Lin Tian was next door. He was in charge of recording everything and rousing attention. Why are you in such a hurry to leave? I haven't touched enough. But as soon as Nightingale turned around, she heard Luo Chen's voice. She suddenly turned around and realized that Luo Chen was already awake and was looking at her teasingly. You're not drunk? Nightingale said in disbelief. At the same time, her cheeks turned red. If he was pretending to be drunk, wouldn't Luo Chen have felt everything just now? I'm drunk, but don't you know that I can hold my liquor very well? You're still too young to play this game. Luo Chen did not expose the truth and casually said. 
You have a death wish. Seeing that her plan had failed, Nightingale took out a dagger from her waist. In any case, Lin Qian had always hated Luo Chen. In addition, Luo Chen had just touched her. All these reasons made Nightingale want to kill him. At most, she would run away after that. To be able to survive at the border, other than gathering information, they also had a certain level of strength in close combat. She held the dagger and stabbed it straight at Luo Chen's heart. After being baptized by the system, Luo Chen could easily deal with Nightingale. He took a step back, grabbed Nightingale's wrist and twisted it. Nightingale couldn't bear the pain and the dagger fell to the ground. Bang! Right on the heels of that, Luo Chen kicked her in the abdomen. Ugh! The kick was powerful and heavy. Nightingale groaned in pain and took a few steps back before falling to the ground, unable to move. Just as Luo Chen was thinking about how to deal with Nightingale, the system's voice suddenly sounded in his mind. Ding! Host, please make the following choices to determine your future path. Option 1. Let Nightingale go and pretend that nothing happened. Reward, Bodhisattva Heart. Option 2. Subdue Nightingale and make her your helper. Reward, Silk Soft Armor. Option 3. Kill Nightingale. Reward, 100 million in cash. The silk armor was very thin, but when worn, its defense would be comparable to a great shield. Even knives and spears would not be able to cause any damage. Luo Chen pondered for a moment. It was impossible to let her go. He knew the use of Nightingale to Lin Tian. As for killing her, he didn't lack 100 million yuan. However, he lacked a talent like Nightingale. After obtaining the answer, Luo Chen silently chanted option 2 in his heart. After successfully subduing the nightingale, the silk armor would automatically be distributed to the system warehouse. Hey, I've offended many people in Jiang City. It doesn't matter who sent you. I admire your guts. I'll give you a chance to work with me. Luo Chen walked up to nightingale and said. In your dreams. I can't be associated with scum like you. Lin Tian often instilled in Nightingale how evil Luo Chen was. Although the two of them had never met, Nightingale was extremely annoyed with Luo Chen. Luo Chen said expressionlessly, You don't even know me. And you kept saying that I'm scum. Nightingale did not speak because she really did not know Luo Chen very well. At this moment, Lin Tian was hiding at the door of the next room and raising his cell phone excitedly. He could not wait to take a photo of Luo Chen's panicked expression. Click. After a while, the door next door opened. Nightingale walked out with a conflicted expression as if nothing had happened. Lin Tian was stunned when he saw this scene. What happened to the show? He was full of questions, but he could not go over directly for fear of being discovered by Luo Chen. Lin Tian could only follow behind Nightingale. As soon as they left the hotel, Lin Tian rushed over and shouted, Nightingale. Are you stupid? Why didn't you shout just now? Such a good opportunity was wasted. I don't think Luo Chen is that bad. There's no need to target him. What the hell did you say? Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 47 to 47 Who are you? 47 Who are you? Hearing this, Lin Tian felt a headache. From the looks of it, Luo Chen must have said something to Nightingale. He really did not understand why Luo Chen's brainwashing ability was so strong. Nightingale, don't believe Luo Chen's nonsense. This bastard is the best at talking. Lin Tian tried to wake Nightingale up. Nightingale shook her head. I don't know which of you is telling the truth anymore. Previously in the room, Luo Chen had used some methods to make Nightingale confess that Lin Tian had sent her. Then, he told her everything that had happened previously. How he was just living a normal life, and Lin Tian had started to target him out of jealousy. This caused Nightingale's faith to collapse. The reason why she was willing to leave the Dragon Emperor and come to Jiang City to help Lin Tian was not only because he saved her life, but also because she admired him. However, after hearing Luo Chen's words, she felt that Lin Tian was like a clown. Was such a person really worth working for? Lin Tian forcefully suppressed his emotions. Nightingale, how about this? From tomorrow onwards, I'll bring you to tail Luo Chen. I want you to see the true colors of this bastard with your own eyes. 
he could tell that Nightingale was in a bad mood. If he continued arguing with her, he might lose an assistant. Nightingale hesitated and then nodded. All right? Seeing was believing. She also wanted to see what the truth was. The next day, Luo Chen was in the office dealing with documents when he saw Yi Bei walk in awkwardly. He also knew that his plan yesterday had not succeeded, and he was more or less worried that Luo Chen would discover something fishy. Boss, where did you go yesterday? My cell phone was out of battery, so I couldn't find you at all. Yi Bei told a lie that even he felt a little awkward about. Luo Chen said expressionlessly, Do I need you to care about where I go? No need, no need. Yi Bei smiled and shook his head. It seemed like Luo Chen did not notice anything. He probably didn't tell him because he felt embarrassed about what had happened. Then, Luo Chen continued, Eat early later. You still have to drive at noon. Yi Bei asked, Where are we going? To the zoo. This morning, Shui insisted that I accompany her. The previous zoo had been completely renovated, and all the animals inside had been transported over. Today was the first day of business. Yi Bei nodded. Okay. After lunch, Yi Bei drove Luo Chen to pick up Shen Shui and set off for the zoo. Behind their car was a taxi. Lin Tian and Nightingale were sitting in the taxi. Did you see that? That V starred Luo Chen is idle all day. He doesn't even work and just brings someone else's fiancé out to play. Lin Tian sat in the car and gritted his teeth. When he saw Shen Shui and Lin Tian going out to play together, his heart was filled with hatred. Nightingale was speechless. Wasn't it normal for a man and a woman to ask each other out to hang out? Moreover, as far as she knew, Shen Shui had never admitted to being his fiancé. After a while, they arrived at the zoo. After Yi Bei parked the car, Luo Chen and the other two walked in. Today, Shen Shui was also wearing a white coat. Coincidentally, Luo Chen was also wearing a white suit. The two of them looked like they were wearing a couple outfit. After Shen Shui walked into the zoo, she was very excited. Luo Chen, where's the giant panda? Let's quickly give it a name. It's in the panda area on the left. Don't be anxious. No one is snatching it from you. Seeing that Shen Shu was like a child, Luo Chen's mood improved a lot. The two of them walked in front, while Yi Bei was in charge of carrying the bags and other things. Lin Tian looked at the two of them from behind and scolded, that be TCH. She's so happy to be with Luo Chen. She's really too cheap. Nightingale frowned and said nothing. Although Lin Tian appeared narrow-minded, he might have really treated the other party as his fiancé. It was understandable for him to scold her. After Luo Chen and Shen Shui named the panda, they went to look at the other animals. Luo Chen, look, there's a large crowd there. Are there any rare animals there? After saying that, Shen Shui walked excitedly towards the crowd. However, Luo Chen frowned. That direction was Wolf Mountain. Generally speaking, there were not many people who looked at wolves. Could something have happened? Thinking of this, Luo Chen quickened his pace and rushed over. Wolf Mountain sounded very impressive, but it was actually just a fake mountain in a man-made pit. As soon as Luo Chen went over, he heard a little girl's cries. At this moment, the girl's parents were so anxious that they were about to faint. Can anyone save my Xiao Kui? Please help me. I beg you. The girl's parents bowed and pleaded. However, who would dare to go down? There were wolves below. At this moment, the little girl below was leaning against the wall and trembling. Two wolves were approaching her cautiously. Lin Tian, who was following behind, was very happy to see this scene. That's great. As long as an animal hurts someone, Luo Chen's lousy zoo can forget about remaining in operation. Nightingale was in disbelief when she heard this. If it was in the past, Lin Tian might have gone over to help. Now, he was actually excitedly looking forward to the little girl being eaten by the wolf. Shen Shuyi felt very uncomfortable when she saw this. Luo Chen, is there any way you can save that little girl? She's too pitiful. Now Luo Chen was almost omnipotent in Shen Shuyi's heart. Luo Chen did not want to reveal his strength in front of everyone. He looked at Yi Bei and instructed, Yi Bei, go and save her. Be careful. Okay. 
Yi Bei didn't hesitate. He stepped on the steps and rushed down the wolf's den. From the ground to the bottom of the pit, it was five meters high. After Yi Bei jumped down, there was almost no sound. When the two wolves saw that someone else had come down, they immediately stopped in place and began to observe carefully. Yi Bei took advantage of this moment to run to the little girl's side, pick her up, and climb up using the crack in the wall. Oh my god! This young man! The surrounding crowd exclaimed. Seeing that the child was safe and sound, the girl's parents kept thanking Luo Chen and the other two. When Lin Tian saw this scene, anger surged in his heart. What's this retarded Yi Bei showing off for? Wouldn't it be better to let Luo Chen jump down himself than become the wolf's meal? Nightingale looked at Lin Tian in disbelief. At this moment, Lin Tian's image had already undergone a tremendous change in her heart. Just as the matter was over, the zoo manager arrived with a group of security guards. The manager came to the mother and daughter. Can you take good care of the child in the future? If something bad happens, what would happen to our zoo's reputation? Not only did the manager not comfort them, but he also scolded them. When Luo Chen saw this, his expression instantly darkened. That's enough. Isn't the reason why the child fell because you didn't install any ornamental glass? It's not like the parent had deliberately thrown her child down. Hearing Luo Chen's words, the manager said unhappily, Who do you think you are? Why are you pointing fingers here? Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 48-48 Made Huge Profits Again 48 Made Huge Profits Again Luo Chen's expression darkened. It doesn't matter who I am but what you should do now is apologize and install the ornamental glass. Why should I apologize? I wasn't the one who threw the child down. Besides, we don't have the money to install the ornamental glass. Why don't you pay for it? The manager crossed his arms in front of his chest and said extremely irresponsible words. Pa! Luo Chen no longer wanted to waste his breath and slap the manager's face. Go and call your director over now. At that time, he had invested a lot of money and it was definitely enough for the installation of ornamental glass. Now, this manager dared to say that they did not have money? How dare you hit me? Security, grab him. The manager covered his numb face and shouted. The security guards who followed immediately walked towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen was expressionless as he said coldly, My name is Luo Chen. I'll say it one last time. Call your director over. Otherwise, you all will have to bear the consequences. When the security guards heard Luo Chen's name, they did not dare to go forward. Who is Luo Chen? The manager seemed to have thought of something halfway through his sentence. His face instantly turned pale, then he quickly stood up and left. After a while, the manager came over with a middle-aged man. Young Master Luo. I didn't expect you to really come. The director was instantly excited when he saw Luo Chen. If not for Luo Chen, this zoo would not have opened at all. Luo Chen said expressionlessly, Director Kui, I'm not at ease leaving this zoo to you. With that, Luo Chen roughly explained what had happened. Bastard? Director Kui slapped the manager. Then, he looked at Luo Chen with an apologetic smile and said, Young Master Luo, I'll fire this good-for-nothing nephew in a while. Then, I'll bring the little girl to the hospital for a checkup. There will definitely be compensation. Also, I'll install the ornamental glass tomorrow. Okay, do as you see fit. Luo Chen snorted and left the zoo. After this incident, he was not in the mood to continue playing. Although it was said to be up to him, Director Kui definitely treated it the most important task in his life. The surrounding crowd praised Luo Chen from behind. They had all heard of Luo Chen's infamous reputation in the past. Seeing him in person today made them realize he was not like what they had heard. He was completely a youth filled with a sense of justice. On the way, Shen Shuyi smiled at Luo Chen and said, You're so nice. Luo Chen smiled and said, It's just a casual matter. Where else do you want to go? After Luo Chen and the others left, Lin Tian also left with Nightingale. After returning to the house in the old neighborhood, Lin Tian was furious. Nightingale, do you believe that today's matter was a show set up and orchestrated by Luo Chen? He did not believe that Luo Chen would stand up for others. 
He must have done this today to make Shen Shuyi believe that he was a good person. A scheming bestard's actions. Nightingale said nothing. She was already completely disheartened. She finally understood that Lin Qian had been consumed by jealousy and was no longer the Lin Qian of the past. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Let's keep in touch less in the future. Nightingale had saved Lin Qian more than once. She would not feel guilty even if she stopped working for him. Working with such a person would result in trouble sooner or later. Lin Tian looked at Nightingale's back and kicked the chair over. Go then. You beaches are all stupid. You think it's real just because he acted nice. Nightingale did not even look back at let Lin Tian continue cursing. In the evening, in a small tavern. The table in front of Lin Tian was already filled with empty wine bottles. Are you going to drink yourself to death? Yi Bei came over and frowned when he saw this scene. Lin Tian was really too passive now. Just now, Lin Tian had sent a message asking Yi Bei to come over to discuss something. Lin Tian said drunkenly, Don't worry. I just want to ask you one thing. Did Luo Chen arrange what happened in the zoo today in advance? From morning until now, Lin Tian had been brooding over this problem. Yi Bei sat down and shook his head. No, what happened today was completely a coincidence. Fuck. Why did Luo Chen bump into such lucky opportunities? Brother, drink with me. Hearing the reply, Lin Tian became even more depressed. Yi Bei wanted to leave, but when he thought of their past brotherhood, he decided to stay. I'll go get two plates of side dishes. You drink first. With that, Yi Bei got up and walked to the front desk. While waiting for the dishes, Yi Bei suddenly heard a familiar voice. Baby, 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 oh. Like, baby, baby, baby no. Yi Bei looked around and realized that it was the sound coming from the television in the tavern. The reason why it was familiar was because Luo Chen usually listened to this song in the office. The song was sung by Justin Bieber. At the time, Luo Chen kept saying that it would become popular soon. Fuck, no way. Yi Bei suddenly had a bad feeling. As expected, after the music stopped, an MC appeared on the screen. Dear viewers, this song is called Baby. It's an original creation of foreign singer Justin Bieber. As soon as this song was released, it entered the top 100 of the Overseas Hot Songs chart. Currently, the numbers are still rising rapidly. After this song was released in the country, it was also deeply loved by young people. The cheerful atmosphere and unusual singing method made people's hearts waver when they heard it. Currently, this single record has been released. The sales number is amazing. Our television station is only left with 800 copies. Please call 188. It's over. Luo Chen is going to make huge profits again. Yi Bei's face was ashen. Why was his mouth so cheap? He even supported Luo Chen to invest in Justin's record company. I really deserve to die. At this thought, Yi Bei slapped himself twice. After a while, Yi Bei returned to his seat with the dishes. Lin Tian picked up a piece of fried meat and nodded. This tavern is not bad. The food is delicious and the music is good. Yi Bei, did you hear that song just now? It's too catchy. After hearing it, I felt much better. Hearing these words, Yi Bei felt as disgusted as if he had eaten feces. Stop it. Yi Bei explained the general situation regarding the song. Are you Fkin kidding me? Why are you always a factor of Luo Chen's success? Lin Tian slapped his chopsticks hard, his eyes red. Several times, it was because of Yi Bei that Luo Chen was able to earn money. This made Lin Tian extremely dissatisfied. Yi Bei was also very depressed. Cut the crap. Do you think I want this to happen? Fuck your mother. If you don't want to, don't do anything that's good for Luo Chen. Lin Tian, who had been stimulated by alcohol, spoke without restraint. Yi Bei stood up abruptly. Try scolding my family again. Not only your family, but you're also a f-king fool. Lin Tian vented almost all his anger on Yi Bei. You're getting too presumptuous. Yi Bei also became agitated from the cusses. The two of them ended up fighting in the tavern as a result. Seeing this, the tavern owner hurriedly went over to stop the fight. Villain, with god-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 49-49 The Mole 49 a mole. The next day, Yi Bei went to work as usual. 
He touched the corner of his bruised eye and cursed, Lin Qian, this dog. He's actually serious when he attacked me. As soon as he walked into the company, Yi Bei was a little stunned. It was time to go to work, but the hall was empty. Congratulations, Brother Bei. Bang. Bang. The sound of the party popper could be heard, and colorful pieces of confetti fell on Yi Bei. Just as Yi Bei was feeling puzzled, a large group of employees suddenly rushed out from both sides and surrounded him. At the same time, two employees pushed a small cart over. Not only was there champagne and food on it, but there was also 500,000 yuan in cash. What's going on? Yi Bei still didn't understand what was happening. At this moment, Luo Chen walked over with Zhao Rua Swang. Yi Bei, the management company I invested in is making a killing. The sales of the single baby has reached 450,000 a day, and this is only the beginning. Thanks to your support at that time, I was confident to make the decision. Luo Chen clapped his hands and walked over. This was a celebration party he had specially arranged. When Yi Bei realized what was going on, his face turned red. Thank. Thank you, boss. This was too embarrassing. To Yi Bei, this celebration party was tantamount to stripping him naked and throwing him into the zoo. He didn't want a F King celebration party. He wanted Luo Chen to lose money. Then, Luo Chen looked at the surrounding employees and said, You have to learn more from Yi Bei's spirit. In order to encourage him, everyone will be given an additional 5,000 yuan bonus. At the same time, in addition to the cash rewards, Yi Bei will also receive an additional salary every month as a project manager. Long live President Luo. Bro Bei, I love you so much. Bro Bei, can you teach me how to invest? I'm so envious of you, Bro Bei. When the employees heard the announcement, they celebrated again. These people surrounded Yi Bei and asked him all kinds of questions. Yi Bei stammered, unable to say anything. Could it be that he could say that as long as he focused on tricking the boss, his results would be good? After the celebration, everyone returned to their posts. Luo Chen sat on the chair and kept observing the data of Baby. It was similar to his memory. It was definitely not a problem for this song to become a global hit. Knock, knock, knock. At this moment, there was a knock on the office door. Come in, Luo Chen called. It was a purchasing manager. He walked to Luo Chen's side nervously. President Luo, something happened. Luo Chen frowned and said, Don't be in a hurry, speak slowly. What happened? The purchasing manager took a deep breath and said, President Luo, the graphics cards you asked me to hoard previously were already bought in advance by other companies and sold at an extremely high price. Even so, another manager of our procurement department still bought them in large quantities. President Luo, we stocked the graphics card back then thinking to sell it in the later stages. But now, it's like we're buying it at a premium. Even if we sell it later when prices drop, we won't earn much money. We might even lose money. Hearing this, Luo Chen nodded. All right, I understand. You can go back first. Yes. The purchasing manager left the office. Luo Chen sat on the chair, not understanding who was going against him. In this era, no one should have realized that stocking graphics cards could make money. Since no one else knew, this person must be targeting him. At the thought of this, Luo Chen called the managers and asked them to find out which company was snatching the graphics card. However, no matter how they checked, the cards were all bought and sold via shell companies. They were obviously puppets. The real mastermind was hidden under the surface. Luo Chen could not help but have a headache. Who is targeting me? It was not only for the sake of the graphics card, but also because the other party's actions were very obvious. That person wanted to go against him. He was not afraid of anyone. However, it was easy to dodge an open spear, but difficult to defend against a hidden arrow. At this moment, Luo Chen suddenly received a message on his phone. The company competing with you is Deep Sea International. This company is located in Binhai City, and the real power is in the hands of a young man named Su Han. The reason why he knew your goal in advance was because your company's purchasing manager, Zhang Guang, was a mole. The short note was signed by Nightingale and accompanied by a sentence. I can help you do things, but don't forget what you promised me before. Luo Chen was amused when he saw the message. 
with a talent like Nightingale, he was like a tiger with wings. Ding! Your silk armor has been placed in the system warehouse. Please take note. The moment he subdued Nightingale, the system distributed the reward. After the initial joy passed, Luo Chen's expression turned solemn again. The system had once said that more protagonists would come to deal with him, and Su Han was probably one of them. The Luo family had a certain amount of power in all parts of the Dragon Kingdom except for Beanhai, which was Su Han's territory. From this, it could be seen that Su Han's ability was extraordinary. Unlike Lin Qian and Yi Bei, Su Han relied on his brain to make a living. Although there was no direct conflict between Su Han and the Luo family, according to the plot in the book, Su Han's goal was to take over the entire Dragon Kingdom's business market. And the Luo family was the biggest target he had to defeat. Luo Chen thought for a moment. The female lead corresponding to Su Han seemed to be someone called Zhang Xiaoyu. According to the current timeline, Zhang Xiaoyu should still be an unknown actress. However, in the later stages, Zhang Xiaoyu was deemed the best actress both domestically and internationally. She could be said to be an empress-like existence in the entertainment industry and had a huge influence both domestically and overseas. If the two of them joined forces, it would really be hard for him to handle. Looks like I have to start with the female lead, Zhang Xiaoyu. However, Luo Chen quickly came up with a countermeasure. As long as he could pull Zhang Xiaoyu to his side, Su Han's threat to him would decrease drastically. However, the most important thing now was to deal with the mole. Luo Chen instructed Yi Bei to capture Zhang Guang. After a while, Yi Bei threw Zhang Guang into the office like he was carrying a chick. Then, he continued to stand guard outside. President. President Luo, why are you looking for me? At this moment, Zhang Guang's legs were trembling, and his eyes were wandering. Luo Chen sneered. How can you be a spy with such weak mental fortitude? Thump. Before Luo Chen could say anything else, Zhang Guang knelt down. President Luo, I'm definitely wronged. Someone must be framing me. I've always been buying graphics cards according to your instructions. Because you said that I should get them no matter how much they cost, I didn't care so much. Before Luo Chen could ask, Zhang Guang began to explain himself with a trembling voice. Is that so? Then do you know Deep Sea International? Do you know Su Han? Or can you explain more about the money in your account? Although Luo Chen did not have any evidence, as long as he instructed Nightingale, he would be able to find out soon. Hearing this, Zhang Guang felt as if his soul had been sucked away. In the beginning, he was still hoping for a fluke. Now, it seemed that Luo Chen knew everything? I'm sorry, President Luo, the villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 50-50 My name is Su Han. 50 My name is Su Han. Luo Chen said expressionlessly, You're really bold. You even dare to betray me. I'm sorry, President Luo. I lost so much money that my family was ruined. I really had no choice. Zhang Guang kowtowed on the ground like a chick pecking at rice. After pondering for a while, Luo Chen said, I'll give you two choices. One is to jump down from the top floor and commit suicide now, and the other is to listen to my commands from now on. If you dare to play any tricks halfway, I don't have to tell you what will happen, right? Zhang Guang hurriedly nodded. President Luo, don't worry. As long as you don't kill me, I'll do anything. All right. Luo Chen continued. Then from now on, you have to constantly leak fake news to Su Han and get them to buy the Meteor brand graphics card. Since the other party dared to deal with him, Luo Chen naturally would not pretend that nothing had happened. The Meteor brand graphics card was the most expensive one on the market now, but it would be eliminated soon because of performance problems. At that time, no one would want it even if it was for free. This. What if Su Han finds out that I'm lying to him? Zhang Guang broke out in a cold sweat after hearing that. Luo Chen's expression instantly darkened. You can choose not to do it, but if you do it, I'll send you overseas to hide for a while. Choose. After hesitating for a moment, Zhang Guang nodded. All right, I'll do as you say. With that, Zhang Guang left the office in a daze. Luo Chen thought for a moment and called Yi Bei in. Boss, is there anything else I can do for you? Yi Bei asked after walking in. Drive me to Beanhai. 
the matter of finding the female lead could not be delayed. Luo Chen planned to do it now. Binhai? Why are we going there? Yi Bei was a little puzzled. As far as he knew, the Luo family didn't have any businesses in Binhai. You don't have to ask. Just drive. With that, Luo Chen walked out. Yi Bei cursed in his heart and followed behind. The two of them drove to Binhai. The journey from Jiang City to Binhai took about three hours. They set off in the afternoon. When they arrived at Binhai, the sky was a little dark. Boss, we're in Binhai. Where are we going? Yi Bei Bei asked as he drove. To Molin Bar. Luo Chen thought about the plot about Su Han. The first time Su Han and the female lead, Zhang Xiaoyu, met was outside this theater. Okay. After Yi Bei responded, he drove to the bar. Molin Bar was upscale and was one of the largest bars in Binhai. After Luo Chen brought Yi Bei in, they found a corner and sat down. At first, the music was very noisy, but later, the bar began to quiet down. As today was the anniversary celebration of the bar, the boss specially held a commercial performance. In the beginning, when a few people went on stage to perform, Luo Chen did not notice much. But when a girl with a ponytail walked onto the stage, Luo Chen began to pay attention. Zhang Xiaoyu was wearing a white dress. Coupled with her exquisite face, she looked like a princess. Then, Zhang Xiaoyu began to sing. Her beautiful voice immediately attracted everyone's attention. Not only was Zhang Xiaoyu's acting skills top-notch, but she was also very versatile in singing and dancing. Because of her good looks, a few drunkards went over to force Zhang Xiaoyu to drink. The bar owner knew that these people were not to be trifled with, so he asked Zhang Xiaoyu to drink. After drinking, Zhang Xiaoyu staggered off the stage. She felt that the air in the bar was a little oppressive, so she walked out to take a breather. However, she did not realize that the men who were drinking were also following behind her. Let's go out. Seeing this, Luo Chen also led Yi Bei out. As soon as they went out, they saw Zhang Xiaoyu cornered by these burly men. Little BTCH. I asked you to drink just now and you kept rejecting me. Are you not giving me face? Zhang Xiaoyu shook her head in fear. No, I just don't know how to drink. You don't know? That's easy. I'll bring you home tonight and slowly teach you how to drink. After saying that, this group of people all laughed lewdly. Zhang Xiaoyu was so anxious that she was about to cry. Bang! At this moment, the burly man in the lead was suddenly kicked. Turning around, he realized that Luo Chen was looking at him disdainfully with his hands in his pockets. Who the hell are you? How dare you kick me? You have a death wish. Dragon 8 shouted angrily. Luo Chen instructed Yi Bei, take care of them. Yes. Yi Bei stepped forward simply. He used his elbows like blades and in no time, he knocked down all these burly men. Zhang Xiaoyu was dumbfounded. She nodded timidly at Luo Chen. Thank. Thank you. Luo Chen smiled and said, no need to thank me. Your name is Zhang Xiaoyu, right? How do you know? Zhang Xiaoyu was stunned. She could not understand how this handsome man in front of her knew her. This is not the place to talk. Come with me. With that, Luo Chen walked to a noodle stall beside the bar. Although she did not know him, Zhang Xiaoyu felt that Luo Chen did not look like a bad person, so she followed him. The three of them sat around a table and ordered three bowls of pig trotters. Zhang Xiaoyu, I've seen your play performance before and know that you've acted in some small supporting roles. I like your acting very much. Actually, Luo Chen had never seen anything. He just knew the plot. When Zhang Xiaoyu heard this, she was very excited. Really? Thank you so much for paying attention to me. As an actress, it was the happiest thing for her to be noticed. Luo Chen smiled and said, I also know that you signed with a management company. But not only does this company not have any resources, but it also treats artists like livestock. I don't think a talent like you should be buried, so as long as you're willing, you can sign with my company. I'll be responsible for terminating your current contract. Hearing this, Zhang Xiaoyu's smile instantly disappeared. Can you let me think about it? She had signed with such a lousy management company because she was too impulsive previously. Now that Luo Chen suddenly said that he wanted to sign her, she was more or less worried. Luo Chen knew what Zhang Xiaoyu was worried about. He said gently, All right, this is my number. 
Call me when you've made a decision. After leaving behind his business card, Luo Chen left with Yi Bei and returned to the villa in Binghai that the system had rewarded him with. He knew that it was useless to be anxious about this matter. He had to let Zhang Xiaoyu think it through herself. Zhang Xiaoyu looked at the business card in a daze. Although Luo Chen did not look like a bad person, what if? Just as she was feeling conflicted, a Rolls Royce stopped beside the noodle shop. The chauffeur opened the back seat door and a young man in a branded suit alighted. He went straight to Zhang Xiaoyu. Did those two people force you to drink just now? The man walked to Zhang Xiaoyu's side and asked coldly. No. They were helping me out just now. Who are you? Zhang Xiaoyu was stunned for a moment before asking. She didn't know him at all. How did this man know that she was forced to drink just now? My name is Su Han.